NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler, thank you for joining us this Sunday night. Oh, Happy Labor Day. Yeah, Labor Day, uh, hard to believe. It's almost here and um, a real interesting day today. Some of us close to 90. If you're watching from the Champlain Valley, you're thinking, what are you talking about? But that's how it worked out. 89, that was the high in Lebanon. 87 in Springfield. 60s, that was it for Montreal and northern New York and Newport. So clearly a front going through and having trouble doing so because we've got the clouds and the rain still overhead. We're looking at Church Street right now where uh, things are still busy on this Sunday night. Temperature in the 50s, as I mentioned, with the clouds overhead, real misty too earlier in the day, but that has mostly dried up. We've got a 66 in St. Jay, still 70s down the road, but we see a few lightning strikes with this particular cell there. It just crossed over Lake George, west of Rutland County. And then this rain here back through western New York and Pennsylvania, that comes in tomorrow. It doesn't really cover over the whole region, but if you're south of the Champlain Valley, I think it's a very wet Labor Day, cloudy and cool to the north. If you want sun, you got to go up into Canada for the most part. So it's a slow clearing trend by the time Tuesday rolls around and then much, much warmer for the rest of the week. So I know today and tomorrow it's kind of a fall feel. There's plenty of 80s here in the forecast as we go along. So future cast tomorrow morning, showers filling in, turning into a steady rain. This estimate would be along and south of Route 2 for the steady rain and then just cloudy and cool north of there. So it's a real important difference depending on how north or south you are tomorrow. Tuesday, it's still cloudy early, showers south early as well. And by later in the day, we start to see a little bit of sunshine, especially up near the Canadian border by Tuesday evening. The clouds will leave sort of in that direction. And then Wednesday turns into a beautiful day. Now, remember how dry it's been? We've been talking about that drought monitor all summer. This rain is right where we need it. I know it's coming on Labor Day, but two inches possible there along and south of Route 4. So a real soaker for some of us on Labor Day. So the rest of this night is cool with a few showers around, but not super wet overnight. That waits till tomorrow. And because of the clouds and everything to go around, it's only 68 for the high in Morrisville and Burlington. South Hero is 67. I think most of the northern New York will be dry, maybe a shower or two, but you go down the north way or down 91 in Vermont, and that is where the rain will be. Should be a pouring rain for a lot of tomorrow in far southern Vermont. So impact weather for sure and very slow to bring in the sunshine on Tuesday. So we're really waiting until Wednesday for big improvement. And then look at that Thursday, Friday, next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, many, many days there in the 80s. And it also looks mostly dry. So chilly for a little while longer and we pop right back to summer after that. Carolyn.